So I'm going to uh, create this equation um, and then move it down and show you how to do that. But um, I want you to be able to see this equation up here. So uh, first we'll just, uh, again, just we have, a, we call this length. So, and then that's divided by P. And um, so next I'm going to hit the space bar to get out of that denominator and then hold down the control key and, and type equal. So we get this bold looking equal. The other two equals we've been dealing with are an assignment statement basically and a calculation. So this is the equal sign that just is, is saying that the whatsoever's on the left has to be equivalent to what's on the right. It's not assigning what's on the right to what's on the left. It's saying that uh, it's an equation. They have to be uh, equate to the same thing. Uh, so next we'll go uh, two times, and I use uh, cc rather than just c because MathCAD uses c for the speed of light. You can't override it, but uh, all right. So we, if we want the two and the c over the the p, you can see this little blue line here. If I if I do the divide sign now, it's just going to put the cc over p. But if I hit space bar, it kind of un underlines the whole thing. So now I can put that p, and now I'll hit space bar to get out of the denominator. So it's kind of almost uh, when in doubt, hit space bar. And so we'll do plus. And <clears throat> so now, uh, if I know that I'm going to want to have n n1 plus n2 over 2, I can go ahead and just hit the uh, divide sign. See, that already sets it up. So now I can do n period 1 plus n period 2. And then when I'm when I'm ready to move down, I can just hit the right arrow and put in the two, and then hit the space bar, and now I'm ready to do plus the other part here. So on this part, um, I am going to have this quantity uh, n2 minus n1, so I actually will use parentheses there and go n2 minus so you can you can see it is a little tricky. And I put the parentheses and then the up arrow in the two. Now at this point, I want to if I use the divide sign to put in that denominator, I don't want that divided that square symbol. So I hit space bar and then put in divide. Okay, so now we have four times and um, just had to turn on the uh, the Greek toolbar here. So there's pi, and that's squared. Whoops. Squared, and then hit space bar to get out of the exponent. Um, and then we'll go times, and cc. And this time we do want that by itself p and um, so that's that's it so all right so all right so uh, we have the equation in properly and so I'm just going to move this down but this the step that I left out is that we have this equation uh, I'm going to move that down here. And the other thing we need is before we list the equation, whether it's one equation or multiple equations, just type in given. Okay. And um, now if we, if we had a particular value, uh, suppose we, we really wanted the distance between the sprockets to be six inches and uh, we wanted to find the length. So I can just type in, in other words, the, the length that will satisfy that equation, find, and actually I'm going to have to pick up from here with an, one more video.